In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Welcome back to another Catching Up the Vlog episode with Living Free Alaska. This video was shot in February of 2023. We are very close to completely being caught up to real time here on the channel, so stay tuned because starting next week, the first week of March, we will be back to a regular upload schedule of one video a week, sharing our Alaska life in 2024. As always, we thank you for watching. Now, let's get back to the vlog. Got a load of spruce. Ah, this will supplement our heat very nicely with our beautiful stove we have. Um, I did have some some uh, spruce or some wood from our property clearing and all that. Was able to cut quite a bit of it up, probably two cords. But right now it's buried down there somewhere in a bunch of snow. I didn't get a chance to get to it. Um, so there's a lot of people around here who um, are, have contract to take out what's called beetle kill spruce. It's uh, there's a, a spruce beetle that has gone around and, and, and kills these spruce trees and they just die standing. And uh, these trees came from that beetle kill project, a beetle kill removal project. So from that project, this guy works almost all year and um, cuts down these trees for Anchorage and whomever else. And then sells the wood himself. Um, it's a full cord here. My next project obviously is to make it go from here there. Couldn't get the trailer any closer, so. <laughs> oh, well. And you need to do it before Tuesday. And Tuesday, we have another cord of wood coming. Uh, birch. Another cord. Uh, birch is our hardwood up here. All the white trunk trees, that's birch. And that's a hardwood. It's a, burn, a slower burn, hotter burn. Um, and so it lasts longer in the fire. The spruce is great for starting the fire to get it going. And then the birch is long lasting. I'm cold. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Love you. Love you. Well, good day to you folks. Uh, today is a beautiful sunny day here in Alaska. This morning it was down to about zero. I don't think I hit negative, but down to zero. And with that, that tells us that we're still in winter time and we're still having to use oil heat, uh, oil for heat, as well as our uh, wood stove we've been using a lot lately, which has been helping a lot. But today I am uh, working on filling my uh, oil reservoir. So we have this here, uh, 275 gallon uh, transfer tank and then my main 500 gallon tank right back behind me. And right now we are uh, pumping from the transfer tank into the main holding tank. Uh, and that should keep us going for a little bit longer. Um, so I just stick the tank too, and sticking the tank means I've, I've got a, a measure measuring device that I can put through the top of the tank and that tells me how much oil I have left in the reservoir. Right now, just before I started pumping, we are at 60 gallons left. So I'm glad I decided to do this today. Uh, I'm not sure how long 60 gallons lasts, but not very long. So uh, we're gonna put 275 additional in, and then at the end, I'll stick it just to see uh, where we end up. So I'll show, I'll show you a bit of the process I had set up. So this here trailer is a single axle Oh, I don't know, what is it, uh, 10 foot by 5 foot or something like that, uh, with a fairly substantial uh, weight rating, 3,500 pounds, I believe. Uh, and I just have it on my 
beautiful big blue Ram 3500 truck. Uh, but I had set up a pump system with batteries and everything. So here's a dual battery setup. Um, and there's also a, right down there in the middle, that little black box is what's called an echo charger. So whenever the truck's running, it's pumping juice into the batteries. And since the batteries are under load right now, uh, they're actually feeding the pump, which you can hear buzzing in the background. And I'll go around and show you that in just a second. But um, I had to rewire the whole setup so the, the, the uh, truck could power those batteries. It's a pretty cool setup, kind of like it. So right here is the battery box again. And wired into this fill right, 15 gallon per minute pump, it's a DC pump. And I've just got that plumbed to the bottom of this tank here uh, with steel pipe. And then it comes up the pipe through the pump. And I got about 30 feet of hose line right here. It wound up on the bed. And I can take it over to my main tank right here. Got to climb a ladder here in a second. You can see the main tank. And I've got a nozzle, just regular, regular fill nozzle up there. Um, and it doesn't have a locker on it, so I had to put a, a little clamp on there to hold it closed. You know, when you go to your fuel station at the, ga the gas station, your, your, your little uh, fuel pump has its own locking device. Well, I had to improvise and make something work because, you know, it, it's a little bit of a process to pump 275 gallons of fuel. So I don't want to stand up here and hold it the whole time. So that's my deal. That's what I got going on. So getting heating oil up here in Alaska is not that big of a challenge at all. Um, of course, you can have it delivered, and that's very easy to do. There are several companies up here. You just give them a call. You tell them about how much you need, and they'll give you an approximate price. And generally, the more you get at different price, there's pr different price breaks. You know, they'll, they'll drop five or ten cents per 500 gallons or something like that. Or, kind of even more convenient, is you can do a trailer like I have here, and you can take this trailer to almost every gas station up here in Alaska, especially the more remote ones, or the more rural ones, I should say, um, they have heating oil at the pump. And you pull up to the pump and you put your card in and you start pumping and there, away you go. Uh, you can also, there is, most of them will actually offer you a little discount um, by means of no highway taxes on this heating oil. Uh, so that's kind of a little, uh, little savings incentive for you. And it is generally about 50 cents cheaper per gallon uh, than delivered oil. So we're trying to save a little bit here and there and do what we can to make our life a little bit more economical around here. We are going to use a lot of oil for, to, to heat this, uh, this building. Um, but right now, supplementing with the wood stove has been a huge help. And, uh, you know, we're, I hate to say it, as beautiful as it is and amazing as it is right now, we're getting towards the end of winter, maybe another month and a half two months left of snow on the ground so uh, not a whole bunch more heating here for, for this season so that's a good thing but while this fuel pump is pumping away and filling my main holding tank I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, dig out our generator it's been a little bit since I've dug it out so I need to dig an access path to it there's not a whole bunch of snow I'll turn around and show you here in a minute but you can see, well, maybe there is a bunch of snow. There's our generator over there. So I've got, to, I've got to shovel myself a little path to get there. So a little bit of work to do. And, you know, while the uh, pump is pumping, might as well enjoy the outside. Do a little bit of work. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Can't see the mountains from right here. But, man, this is a beautiful day. And warm. Oh, my gosh, is it warm. Love it. And in just a few minutes of shoveling, I got myself a path over here to the generator. You can see there it is. Now I do got to dig out around it a little bit more, but that's getting us there. And you know, I'm down to the ground here, and this is, you know, it's up above my knees, so it's fairly deep here. And this is all just kind of compacted snow. You can see that these are berms right here from plowing and such but it's almost it's mid thigh height on the comp compact compacted snow we've had well over 90 inches of snow this season so far and it's all compact down in, into this little bit here so there's a the truck and trailer and fuel tank filling up and back over here I also want to talk to you about this 
these are our propane tanks. They run a couple of propane fireplaces, of course our cook stove, and it also runs a generator. So uh, when we do have a power outage, the backup generator will fire and the backup generators run on propane. So we have these here uh, for, that need, for that need. That's why we have the larger tanks. Uh, and again, propane's real easy to get to. Just give them a call, they'll show up and pump it into your tanks for you. So it's very convenient. Now I guess it's time to dig out that generator the rest of the way around. There she sits. Time to dig. Well, look at that. And just like that, janitor is all dug out. Both sides. There's a little path we just dug. And in the background, again, you can see the truck and the oil reservoir. That didn't take long at all. I think it's time to go check on the uh, fuel tank, see how we're doing. I believe we're getting close. Yep, it's getting down there. I can see the fuel level is right about here right now. So not very much longer. So with that, I gotta make sure I'm here so it doesn't suck dry. And I've got this trailer tilted up a little bit on some blocks right there. So this side is high and the uh, outside, the outtake is uh, on a low side, so all the fuel on that side of the of the uh, tank. And we're getting down there. I can see it right down there. Oh, stand by. All right, well, I think I'm done filling the tank now. It's time to stick the tank to see how much fuel we have. And what we have is just, it's just, just a simple stick with measurements on it based on the volume of this tank here. So I'm going to stick it in there and see how much we have. All right, so I've just stuck the tank and I'm thinking I see a solid line right there at the 215 gallon mark. So that's great. Not quite a half tank full, but uh, that's going to definitely get us another month and a half or so. So that'll be really nice to have. And hopefully by then, no more fuel will be needed. Well, that, uh, that's a wrap for uh, refueling our uh, heating oil tank. Now my next little project, I've got the snow machine trailer uh, all pulled out of the snow. Uh, there's, I don't know, about a foot of snow on, on the deck of it or so. And it's all there on the ground now. So that's not a good spot for it. So I need to move that. So I'm gonna grab my plow and uh, move that snow out of the way. You can see the bare spot. That's from where I parked the trailer every time I moved it. I hit the same spot. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks. Well, good morning. It's Saturday. It's the Iron Dog finish. And I am stuck at home because our range was just delivered and being installed right now. But I am watching online the finish. And Team 7 came in first. They are past winners. Uh, one of the racers, he's this is his sixth win, which is a huge accomplishment. And his partner, I believe this is his fourth win. So congratulations to Team 7 on your finish of the 2023 Iron Dog, the world's longest and toughest snow machine race. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about it later. But right now, I need to get back to work. I'm getting ready to get tickets for sale for our 2023 Rendezvous at the River RV Rally. And like I said, our stove is being installed, so it's a good day. Well, there it is. Our range is finally here. Oh, we've been waiting for this for 19 months. We ordered it in July of 2021, and um, it's finally here at the end of February of 2023. So now we're just waiting for the installers to come and hook it up and put it into the slot. Pretty nice. Ready? Okay. Okay. What, what am I doing? <laughs> Twist the feet. I'll, I'll hook you down. Yeah. Okay. Now we can. Set it down first. Come on. Okay. 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 Okay.
good. Remember, you, you, you lift with your... Oh, I know. <laughs> you force you. Wow, Jason. No kiss. Holy crap, that's level. <laughs> we needed you like, what the hell? <laughs> Can Alan and Peterson hire you? <laughs> <laughs> and I was just, I'll just do 10 turns and call it here. It's on. I mean, good job on that level. Woohoo! Do not drop it on me. Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, no. One, two, three. Hopefully I turned it the right oh. way. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> She <laughs> She rolled like real. <laughs> uh, it's like I did talk to myself last night. I scared TikTok. Oh, yeah. Uh, ready? Sixteenth of an inch, too narrow. Okay, I'm I didn't leave the oven's on for very long. And that's perfect. Gary. That's <laughs> beautiful. That is freaking <laughs> gorgeous, <laughs> dude. That is gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, it looks good sitting right here, but it looks so good in there. Dad, I got goosebumps. I kind of love the platform. Gary had to build the platform because we have taller cat. Counters. So what I'm gonna do? Put the legs on. What are we doing, Mr. Quimby? We're standing outside. It's about 10:30 at night. About two degrees, one or two degrees above zero, and we are watching Lady Aurora light up the sky everywhere overhead. It is. A beautiful display tonight, and there's a half full, a half moon. Yeah. It's just so bright right now. There's the moon. And Aurora, she's just showing off. No, check this house. out. I'm doing a time lapse, so give it a second. You'll see what the sky is doing. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So, yeah, like I said, 10:30 at night. Two degrees above zero. Got myself a little sipper because, you know, why not? Keeps you warm inside. <laughs> and we're enjoying Mother Nature's light show. This is some of the best we've ever seen right now. I don't know about the best yet, but uh, it is a pretty good show. It just is filling the sky. It's absolutely filling the whole sky. No, I have to take that back. The show you slept through in 2019 in Nevesna. No, that Nevesna was 17. Road. 17, no, 17, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was, that was a show. It wasn't two degrees, it was 38 degrees. A little more bearable. <laughs> but look at that. That's above our house right now. That's lighting up our house. Oh. Amazing. Another amazing day in Alaska. I mean, you know, this is why we're here. That's not clouds, people. That's Aurora. Yep, you can see it in the video. And to see it in my video, that just yes. tells you. With with the moon, it's still shining. Gosh, if we didn't have a moon right now, oh, it would be amazing. <laughs> right? Oh. 
So this is in live view, the back of my camera. So what the sky is doing right now. My camera can't pick it up as well as my Canon. As you can see, the Big Dipper is smack in the middle there. And the lights are pulsating right now. Sorry, I'm moving back and forth too, but that's what the Aurora looks like. They are absolutely moving right now. I will admit, I'm a little freaked out. It's like four in the morning. I'm out here by myself. And you might have just heard that big crack. I think that's just our snowmobile, our snow machine trailer making noise. I don't see a moose. It's a little unnerving being out here all by myself. Gary's tucked away sleeping. But, uh, yeah, that's what it's doing directly ahead. It's absolutely crazy. Hold on, let me get a different perspective. I gotta get a glove on. Yeah, because it's cold. Turn the camera around. Ow, just up. Uh, the trees. So we're pointing that way. You can see the aurora in my camera. But when I look at it through my big camera, that's what it's doing. Now, let's look behind us. We've got Aurora going over there. Oh. Up in the middle of the sky is still just pulsating like crazy. Let's see if we can go back. I'll go back. Hmm. Oh, I gotta find the notch in my tripod. There we go. Let it go straight up. Did I mention it's like negative 11 when I came out? It's cold. <sighs> that is Mother Nature at its finest, folks. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.